Hello out there, YouTube. Here's out there, Christ Spiritual Cyberspace on YouTube today. We're going to have some fun. This is going to be a funny bone video. <clears throat> it's not going to be anything prophecies today on New World Order or Tiny Tim kept on through the New World Order tulips or uh, President Obama, all the other things happening in the world, a uh, uh, Greek. Uh, meltdown or Wall Street meltdown, but today it's going to be a prophecy on milk belly cully. <laughs> Get a good belly laugh on that. Yes, I said prophecy on milk belly cully. I tell you, God loves you. You look in the mirror, and God didn't make junk. God's got a sense of humor. God made you. Just give God the glory, the praise, and honor. Uh, why this prophecy on milk belly Kelly is uh, so important? Here's a picture of me. When I'm four months old right here in this picture. Can you see there I am? I'm smiling. I'm happy. My mother Mary Kelly, I had the best mother in the world. She was scared to death that I was going to dehydrate. That I wasn't going to have enough milk. Here I am, milk belly Kelly. I'm the little milk belly Babino here. I'm four months old, weigh 27 pounds. Right there, I'm two foot high and two foot wide. I was a little milk belly Babino there, baby, man. And today, I'm 58 years old. I'm still drinking that milk. I'm a 260 pounds of solid milk blubber here. After 58 years, I calculated I've been drinking a milk, one gallon of milk every day for 58 years. I've drunk 20,000 gallons of milk. I don't know if that's the United States of record for one man. It could be, could be a world record. Who knows? Only God knows. But I know that it's went down the hatch. I've had 20,000 gallons of milk I've drunk in 58 years. It's made me 260 pounds of solid uh, milk flat blubber. There I am, when I'm four months old there, I was smiling. I seen mommy coming with that milk bottle for me, and boy, I still like that milk today. I used to drink whole milk, but today I'm drinking 2% milk. So uh, this is for all you uh, milk belly people out there that loves milk here. Here's a picture of me. Here's the evidence. Here's the proof here today. And I thank Jesus that someday I'm going to cross over the promised land and land of milk and honey. Thank you, Jesus. You know, laughter is ministering to you. Laughter is good to you. Laughter, I mean, a heart does good like a medicine. You know, there's two types of people. Some people will laugh with you, and some people there will laugh against you. But God's up in heaven. He's going to get the last laugh. He's laughing at the people down here that think they're in control, but God Almighty, the God of Israel is in control. I'm going to read a prophecy here God gave me a little over four years ago. And i tell you what, the Chicago Sun-Times loved it so much they put in the letter to editor there. You know, if you can make it in Chicago, you can make it anywhere. The Windy City. <clears throat> God gave me this prophecy in August the 4th, 2007 here. Why marry the cow if the milk is free? The milk is not free in the land and milk and honey in the USA. The price of milk is getting more expensive every day. Well, here somebody's trying to call me up telephone. We ain't got time to answer it here. I don't pay no attention to that in the background. Jesus on the main line now. Call him up. Call him on. Jesus is on the main line now. The moo moo cows are producing milk in highway robbery prices. I am 54 years old and I could not believe what my eyes saw. In one day, the price a uh, one gallon of milk went up 60 cents. That is a 20% increase. I got addicted to milk at an early age. I had the best mother in the world. But Mother Mary was worried to death. If I didn't get enough milk, then I would die. I was four months old and weighed 27 pounds. I was a big milk belly baby. It won't be long that one Gallon of milk will pass four dollars and five dollars and on the horizon. Mothers, 
Don't let your babies grow up to be milk belly gluttons. You have heard a meth head, but I'm a milk head and a milk belly fellow. Yeah, yes, you can cry over spilt milk because it's going to cost you more each day. To all the hardcore milk drinkers out there, may the price of milk decrease soon. And that prophecy there was over four years old. And take a good look at this picture here today. And here it is when I'm a little baby when I'm four months old. I'm 58 years old now. You could call me Bro George. Here I am. I'm laughing. I didn't have many teeth there. I was laughing. I see my mom there coming with a, a bottle of milk. I was a very happy baby. I was a little milk belly cully. There it is. And today I only got three teeth in my head. I, I, I don't have, I lost all my teeth there. But praise God, I'm happy. I'm smiling today. And I thank Jesus for this prophecy. Jesus really got a sense of humor, don't he? And I thank Jesus for all of you. I love you today, me and Betty. And there I am, smiling when I'm four months old. I'm still smiling today. Smile for the whole world. Smile with you. And Jesus smiling up there in heaven. He made a beautiful creation. Look in the mirror every day. Say, thank you, Jesus. You didn't make junk. You made a beautiful person. You're a beautiful person. So I love you out there today. Uh, we're having a funny video today. It's hitting your funny bone to get you a big belly laugh today. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. And, and laugh at yourself. Look in the mirror. Say, I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny woman. You're the funniest person on planet Earth. Because Jesus loves you. And I couldn't go without closing this thing today. It's going to be short and sweet today. But if you don't have Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you know, that's not funny. Uh, you can't really have laughter. The joy of the Lord ain't your strength. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today. We're happy. When Jesus comes in the heart, you'll be the, even the happiest person, even the happiest you've ever been in the whole wide world. So say this prayer with me today. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner, Lord Jesus Christ. Save my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, let your joy, Lord, come down from the crown of my head to the soles of the feet. Let a spirit of laughter come over me. Just consume me, Lord. I can laugh like I never laughed before. The spirit of laughter is your medicine. A merry heart doeth good like medicine. Thank you for coming to my heart and forgive me for my sins and saving my soul today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today. I thank Jesus for you. Your name written in the land, book of life. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven. Jesus is rejoicing. God's rejoicing. And you'll be in heaven someday when you close your eyes. And when your tongue is silent. And when you're in the grave, heaven will be your home. So pray for me and Betty Cully here. At least the Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois will be praying for you. We love you today. Jesus makes you laugh. He's your spirit of laughter. Jesus is your funny bone. Jesus is your deep belly laugh. Just look at the man today and just smile and just laugh at Jesus' thing. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You make me smile. When you smile, it takes less muscles than when you frown. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God and hallelujah.